Welcome to exercise number three for MasterCam Multi-Access Advanced Edition. And this is going to be our exercise. Now I have this exercise open in SOLIDWORKS, then only because I want to go over it in SOLIDWORKS and make sure you understand what we'll be doing in this exercise. Now, as you can see, this is an impeller. If you don't know what an impeller is, it's a rotating component of a central fusion pump. Okay. Usually you can actually make this and it can be made out of anything. We've seen it made out of iron, steel, bronze, brass, aluminum, and even plastic. And what it does is it transfers energy from the motor that drives the pump to the fluid being pumped by accelerating the fluid outwards from the center of rotation. Okay. So that's just a small definition of an impeller. If you're interested in it, please look it up, Google it. You'll find a lot of videos of an impeller um, being machined. And not really in MasterCam, you're going to see it being machined uh, uh, online, but you'll really see it just uh, live being machined on a CNC, some videos on that, and some videos explaining uh, what an impeller is as well, so you have an understanding of what that is that we are creating machining operation for. So again, this is an impeller, and also, this is not the only shape of, of an impeller. In the next video, I'm going to show you uh, how to create a machining operation also for a different kind of an impeller. A, a completely different shape of an impeller. And really the only thing impellers have in common, different impellers, are the blades. They all have blades. They need these blades that are curved like that to basically spin the fluid outwards from the center, um, you know, and guide it outwards to keep um, the, the engine cool, okay? So, uh, real quick, uh, we're going to be creating two different kinds of machining operation. First, we're going to create machining operations in three axis, milling, and then we're going to be using Blade Expert. Now, this is considered multi-axis, obviously, because it is considered 4 or 5 axis, but it is an add-on to MasterCam. So if you do not have Blade Expert, you will need that to create the machining operation for this. Now, this is also included in your uh, home learning edition of MasterCam, so you don't need to actually go out and buy it if you're just practicing this exercise. Now, let's go over an impeller and different parts of the impeller and what they're called. Now, first and foremost, the biggest blades here, the ones you see right here, okay, and here, those are called shrouds, okay, the complete thing. They're called shrouds, okay? The one in the middle is called a splitter. Now, this splitter is not actually found on all impellers, so you're going to find some impellers that don't have these splitters. Now, the way to count how many sections there are, every time you see a splitter, the two shrouds on each side of that and the splitter counts as a section. So that's called a piece of the pie. Now think of this as a pie, if I put this into the top view. So the shrouds and the splitter, all three together right here, are called piece of the pie. So what we're going to be doing is machining that piece of the pie, and when we're done machining everything we need to, uh, and finishing it also, then we're going to create an operation to rotate that four more times. The reason why it is four more times is because if this is one section, there's five, four more other sections for a total of five. Another way to count how many pieces uh, of sli uh, slice pieces this is, is just to count either the big pieces or the small pieces. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Or the small pieces, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So this uh, blade has five different pieces. So we're going to create an operation for one piece, and we're going to rotate that around four more times, okay, for a total of five different operations. Now, the first two operations are going to be a 3D access, 3 access or 3D milling operation. The reason for that, if I place this into my front view, I'm going to create a stock that's going to be a cylinder stock from the bottom all the way to the top of my part, but it's also going to include this entire section. Well, this is a huge section. I really need to machine this section uh, somehow, some way before I get to my five axis or blade expert. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have to create three axis machining operations. So one will be for uh, machining uh, the roughing operations, and one will be for finishing. Now, if I place it into the top view, you're gonna notice that the blades I I'm not gonna be able to get around these blades. Now, if I zoom in real quick right here, obviously. If I come in with as in a three axis tool, it's only going to be able to machine whatever it can get around the blade. But obviously, if I rotate my part, there's areas right here to machine. Well, that is what we're going to leave for the blade expert to machine. Now, you'll ask, can you machine this actually without be using blade expert? Yes, you can. But it is a little bit more complex and it takes a little bit more uh, work to get the 
all the machine all the machining done for your part so it's not quite as smooth and easy to use you're gonna see that blade expert is so easy to use i mean i can create the roughing and all the finishing operations uh, in about two to five minutes for all of these so it is much faster to use blade expert and much easier to do that okay uh, now one last thing is a uh, part of the impeller is this right here this is called the hub so remember we named this the shroud shroud and this is a splitter and this piece right here is called the hub okay now obviously all the blades are connected to the hub and if you notice these radiuses around here now usually these are either one welded or uh, two they come as a casting like that and you'll use a blade expert to just really finish off uh, to the exact detail of what you want to finish okay now most of these actually do come as a casting now obviously the casting would basically uh, remove the two operations that I'm going to be creating first those two operations are the three axis operations the roughing and the finishing so you either machine these as a roughing and finishing operation first and then create the blade expert operations or you would get this as a casting okay which would have everything machined already uh, in three axis but you will just need to create the blade expert machining operations to finish off your part now i know this took a little bit i really just wanted to explain to you uh, what kind of machining operations we'll be creating and uh, really what we'll do is we'll create a in blade expert a roughing operation first to get rid of the material underneath each of these blades and then we'll be focusing on the shrouds the splitters uh, and uh, all arounds and the fillets so we're going to be creating finishing operations uh, to finish off the sides of the shrouds and then we're going to be creating ones for the hub so we'll create a finishing operation for the hub and a finishing operations for the fillets the radiuses that we have all around our part so after we create the roughing operation in blade expert we're going to create three finishing operations for the shroud for the hub and for the fillet so uh, it's going to be a total of six operations and we'll end it by rotating transforming those operations that we've created here four more times to a total of five operations to complete our part so we'll get started with that in the next video